And if it says something like this, erase process has failed, click done, blah, 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 blah. Don't worry about it, it happens. Usually that happens because this is using something already. So maybe you guys installed one of these programs, just delete them, okay, from your Mac. So if you guys met that problem like me, you're just going to erase and then just choose another format and then format it whatever way you guys want. But another format, I mean journaled or choose this one and then you guys can go back to XFAT. I know, it's just something we have to do sometimes, but let's say you guys keep having that issue, just cancel it and erase this because your Mac might be trying to read this and that's why it's supposed to be using it. It's not really using anything. Also close some programs that might be linking up to this. So maybe you guys have a backup running on your Mac with uh, Dropbox or maybe Google Drive is just going on all the time, refreshing and just backing up your Mac. Well, that can also get in the way. So I'm gonna close one of those programs, for example, and then just make sure to close any other program that could be getting in the way. So just look down here, actually close all programs, just have this utility running. Then if you really wanna make sure nothing's getting in the way, erase this. So right click on it, go ahead and move it to trash and then go ahead and trash this. And one more thing, if you're still having issues and you can't erase this for any type of reasons, let me just run this again and you guys keep seeing this, that you just can't, don't worry about it. Just restart your Mac and you should be good to go. All right, so once you have restarted your Mac, just go ahead and erase it right away. Don't wait for all your programs to load or anything like that because those could be getting in the way. So as long as you guys do this quick, it should work out and there you go. So the first time you erase it, just erase it with anything, but I'm gonna erase it right now with um, XFAT because now it's actually all good. So we can go on into XFAT, like I mentioned, partition, and then we're just gonna name it external SSD. So just in case the name that you're doing right now could also get in the way. So sometimes even just not changing the name works when you're erasing for the first time. But anyways, we're gonna go into XFAT and then we're just gonna erase it. So this is the process. It shouldn't take too long, because after all, even if it's like eight terabyte SSD that you guys have, with an external hard drive, it usually takes a little bit longer than an external SSD. But again, this is a fast thing to do. And we are deleting everything from within the external hard drive, external SSD. So obviously this guide is for those of you who have a new one that you guys wanna set it up and properly make it work with your Mac. So we're gonna go on into done. And right now, we are done if you guys want to use this as a basic external hard drive, external SSD. So that means we have this right here, open it up. And from within here, let me just close this utility. You guys can make folders, you guys can drag anything here and copy and paste, and then just use it like that. So let's say I wanna back up some files. I have this screen recording, or it might be any type of file, really, it could be a picture, whatever. Just drag it on there, and there you go. You guys can also copy and paste it, so just literally right click on it, press copy, then once you press copy, so let me just press copy on it, I can go here and then just press on paste item and it's gonna transfer that file there. Obviously, since I already have it there, it's gonna ask me if I want to replace it. Yeah, sure, why not replace it? But that's how that works. And this is with any type of file. If you guys are having issues with this, most likely you didn't format it properly, but you guys can also take a look and right click on it and going to get info for it. So this is my external SSD, I can get info, same thing as an external hard drive. And then see here, you guys should have permissions. So under sharing and permissions, it says you have custom access, which is fine. Um, as long as you guys are not locked out, you guys are fine, again because you guys can do anything with this. So this would be the format if you guys do something really, really simple, you guys want to do that. And transfer things between Macs, between Macs or Macs and PC, it's all free, you guys can do that. So this is the simple way and you would be done with this tutorial. However, let's say you guys are watching this video because you want to go ahead and back up your whole Mac. You guys don't want to be dragging stuff into there. You want your entire Mac to be backed up, including your apps down here, everything. You guys wanna get a little bit more technical with this. Well. Going to Disk Utility once again, and we're gonna open it up. And this is the fun part. So don't mess around with your internal. Always, always take a look, look at your external. So we're gonna tap here. Then you guys see that this is XFAT. We don't want that. Now, if you guys want this only to work with Mac, for example, click on Erase, and then just choose this option or Journaled. 
okay? For the sake of this video, because I'm gonna teach you a little bit more advanced stuff, we're gonna go on and just put any title right now. Um, we're just gonna put SSD. And then we're gonna go on and partition this. Now I'm gonna teach you how to partition this, but first we have to format it like so. So erase. And what I'm gonna teach you is how to cut this into parts. So you could have a part of external hard drive or external SSD that works between Macs and PCs, another partition that only works with Macs and only between Macs, and another one that backs up your entire Mac. Because, hey, these are big external hard drives or external SSDs, and they can do all that. So you can use your external hard drive, external SSD, as something as like a USB stick to transfer stuff between computers, or you can also use it to back up your entire Mac. So we can do everything within the one. So I wanna teach you how to do that right now. All right, so this is complete. So you guys can see, it says the erasing completed. So we're gonna click on done. Then what we're gonna do right now, guys, is partition this. So on the top right hand side, you're gonna see partition. So this is pretty much cutting it up into sections. You do not need to cut it up into all the sections I'm gonna teach you, but I've heard a lot of people like this. I'm gonna cut it, you guys can cut it into two parts and that's it. One to transfer information between Macs or Macs and PCs, another one just to run Time Machine and just back up your entire Mac and not just certain things. So right here, see this plus sign, we're gonna go on and tap on it once. We're gonna go on into add partition. However, keep in mind you guys can also add a volume. Um, for this, particular video, we're just gonna stick with partitions. So we're gonna go on and just add a partition. So here we go. So one side is two terabytes, another is two terabytes, and you guys can move this. I highly suggest never clicking here and putting a number manually, always dragging this into how much you guys want. It's uh, gonna save you guys problems later on. And that's because, see this, it says three terabytes. So technically, since this overall thing is four terabytes, this should be a one terabyte, right? And if you guys manually did that, it's just gonna give you an error. You guys won't be able to do anything because this is technically just a little bit under a terabyte, it's 998 gigs. So that's why I'm saying always, always partition using this and just move it around. So let's say you guys want three terabytes to be time machine and then just use one terabyte to transfer information between Macs and PCs. Now let's say you guys want an additional partition, okay, this is optional, and you guys want this additional partition, let's add one more, plus sign, so all I'm doing is click on this plus sign. All I'm doing is gonna add another one, and I'll make this one smaller. And let's say I want this one to be to transfer between PC and Mac, so I'm just gonna make PC, and I'm gonna format this as XFAT, like I mentioned before, that would be awesome to transfer stuff between PCs and Mac because that's gonna work. And if you plug in, and it's gonna only show you that on your PC, for example. And then this side, you guys just want this just for Macs. You guys can just use this or journaled. Both work just the same. And then this one, we're gonna leave it for Time Machine. So we're gonna just click OK. So this one has this SSD for title. This one's PC. This one SSD, I'm actually gonna make Mac. So just so you guys know what it's for. So it's just for Mac. And this one, I'm gonna name it Time Machine because that's gonna back up my entire Mac. And that's usually the biggest part of the pie that you guys want because you guys want various backups of your entire Mac throughout time. Um, anyways, once you guys have that, you guys think you're good to go, click on apply. We're gonna partition everything. And by the way, to remove a partition later on, the only way is to reformat everything. So that means you will be deleting everything from within it. So you cannot add more space into a partition. So just make sure you're creating something that you're pretty sure about. Now, let's say your Mac, you have a total of storage. Actually, not even talk about storage. Now let's talk about how much storage you use yourself from your Mac. Because your Mac could have a terabyte and you guys only use 100 gigs. So let's say you guys have 100 gigs of data. That's pictures, videos, information, schoolwork, work, whatever. 100 gigs in total. The time machine portion should be at least double. Should be 200 gigs. And that's because you guys wanna back up everything, those 100 gigs, plus double the amount. Because time machine runs like that. And it keeps 
updating that backup throughout time. But anyways, I'm gonna get to that in just a second. We are done at this point in time. And right now we have three partitions. And how do these three partitions look like? Well, right here under your external, if you open this up, you're gonna see that one, this one, and this one. And just to let you guys know what's happening, here they are. I have my time machine, Mac, and PC. Now a lot of people told me all they need, really, it's not even this Mac one, all they need is the PC one and time machine. One just to go ahead and back up their entire Mac and another one to transfer files between a Mac and PC. So a lot of you may just want two partitions and not the three. Others really like the fact that there's one just for Mac, one to transfer files between Mac and PC because that will be very small, and then time machine. I'm gonna show you what time machine is right now, how to set that up. So once you guys did that, go into system settings. So that's down here below. If you don't see that, spotlight search on the top right hand side and type in system settings. If you don't see that there for any reason, then again on the left hand side, in this case, Apple logo, system settings, your second option. Once you open this up, just type in up here under search, just scroll up and then you guys should see search and just type in time machine. It's the quickest way to get here. Time machine, tap on it. It's something pre-installed on your Mac. You guys don't need to download anything whatsoever. Now I already have a time machine set up here. So it doesn't matter if it's Mac, iMac, MacBook Pro, Mac Pro, Mac Studio, same thing for all Macs. What you guys will see is something like this, just this up here, it says time machine. So what you guys want to do is just tap on the plus sign, tap on the plus sign. You guys are gonna see this. Well, we named this one time machine. That's exactly because we want to format this just to work like time machine. We're gonna set up disk. And right here, you guys can enter a password. Obviously, you guys have to re-answer the password, type in a hit in if you want, and then it's gonna tell you this, disk usage limit. So you guys can customize this or leave it as none. For most of you, it's none because we formatted this just to work within those three terabytes that we're giving this. So I would not put a usage limit. However, you could at this point custom and then just put time machine to use only, you know, less than that, a terabyte or anything like that. I wouldn't do that because that's why we did this partitioning in the first place. So just choose none. Uh, this encrypted, you don't have to, but if you're worried that somebody could access this and take it or steal it or anything like that, I would. Now, if you, it's just gonna be home or something like that, you don't care, just turn it off. And there you go, you don't have to encrypt anything. Then click on done, that's it. That's all you guys have to do. Now you have time machine backup done here. And if you go into options here, you guys can exclude things from your time machine backup. So see this, exclude backups. So from within the backup, it's gonna exclude anything that I have on my PC and Mac, these partitions, okay? These are the partitions from my external hard drive. Of course, I don't wanna backup those things, but if you do, you can just um, go ahead and add them in or take them out. Depends what you guys want. Uh, also under options, I should show you this. Backup frequency every hour, it's up to you. You guys can have this, whenever you have this plugged in, your external hard drive or external SSD, it's gonna back up every hour. That could get in your way. So you may not want that. You may want manually and you guys do it. So I'm gonna change it to manually. Cause then you guys can just press on it to back it up. Press done. And then what does that mean? Well, whenever you guys do want to back it up, go on top here, click on it, and then just click on backup now. Let me just press skip now because it started automatically backing that up. And again, on the top, you guys will see this for your time machine. Just go on and press on backup now. And you guys can also do that from within here actually. So just right click on time machine and then put in backup now. What will this do? It's gonna back up all your Mac. So that means all your pictures, videos, everything that's within your storage, which does include all your apps, so everything that you guys have installed. So if your Mac ever crashes on you, and just completely dies and you guys can access it, just go ahead, plug in your external SSD or external hard drive to another Mac, it could be a brand new one, and there you go. You guys can set it up to be exactly how this one was. If you guys wanna transfer your information from one Mac to another, this is the fastest and the best way to do it too. And that's through Time Machine. And for those of you who just wanted exactly that, just back up your Mac. This is how to do it. So you guys would just go into Time Machine 
and then just do that backup. You guys might not even need these partitions that I was talking about, but it's nice to have them anyways. So that's how you guys can go ahead and format Time Machine, make it work on your Mac. And before we end this video, I just wanna show you that it, all these other partitions that we made, you guys can go ahead, open it up. You guys can even make folders here. So just right click on it, new folder, typing a name for it, and there you go. That's your folder to delete it. You would have to right click on it, move to trash or command D or command delete, and that will delete this. But keep in mind that whenever you move this to trash or you delete it, to fully delete anything from your external hard drive, you always have to go into your trash bin and empty it out before you unplug it. So right here, we have to empty our trash. So we are gonna go and empty our trash and that's how you guys properly delete. To transfer any files into your external hard drive, now that it's properly formatted, just drag and drop. That's what I like to do. You guys can copy and paste onto it. So many ways to transfer any files onto your external SSD or external hard drive. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. Remember, once you are done and you guys want to unplug it, always, always eject. And then eject all. Just make sure to eject all before you unplug your external SSD or external hard drive. So that means down here below, you guys will choose to eject all. They're all gonna disappear. And now you guys can unplug it from your Mac. And now that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.